Hello everyone and welcome back to Community Impact. My guest is Prakruti Mysore Guru Raj, the Multicultural Ambassador. I would say uh, welcome back Prakruti. Thank you, Reena. Prakruti, with all the resources that are available out there, there are so many help, there are so many lines. What is it unique that you consider your organization will provide? I totally agree, Reena. That's, that's absolutely true. There are many resources available. The first point that we need to consider is when you have so many resources available, where do you going to start? That's right. Right? That's the first point. The second thing, when we have resources, obviously they're just a guide. It just tells you what you can do with someone else's life, circumstances, situation. Obviously, there will be a point to be considered. But whether it's going to fit your life? No. The second thing, as I said, is this. The third one is, it's just one-sided. It's one dimension. It's free for me to interpret the way I would want to what I'm reading. With having a person alongside, there is a two-way conversation. So there's an engagement and you can connect. It's not a materialistic thing. It's not a book. It is not a Google search. It's not some online uh, material that you're doing, not a blog, but it's a person. That's what it makes the difference of going somewhere. Obviously, if you can find the help, why not? It's always there. But when you've reached a point that I'm not able to make sense out of all this available. As I say, analysis, paralysis, when you have too many things available, you don't know where to start from. Mm -hmm. You have to come to a person where you seek that help to talk to. So Prakriti, I would say that there are times that you can't even talk to your own family, right? Absolutely. And and you're most embarrassed talking to your own best friend. You know, sometimes they will, you will think that, oh, she's or he is going to judge me because we have gone to that person with all our problems n number of times. So now when you're in, really in trouble, you're like, oh, she will think, take it lightly. So that's when connect within and beyond plays a role and people can come to you? Yes. And it's actually a question is making me to think like, what really made me to get on to this, right? Th th this is something that I would like to talk about. As I mentioned, this has been happening for many years since my childhood. People would come, just use me as a soundboard, or I'll just talk through with things. And then I said, well, I'm already doing these things. Why not I give a name, a platform for it? Mm -hmm. And people are confident enough to say, hey, you know what? She's done it in the past. Mm -hmm. She can do it now and people can just come ahead and talk. And if you ask me what it's this, it could be coaching, mentoring, any of that, the title you, or tag you gave into that, is it's just a simple conversation. That's right. And Prakruti, I can see that you're so confident. So where does this confidence come from? Um, well, I can say it's my own experience that has led, led through. I always keep telling people when they come, always give a try. Never regret saying, I didn't give a try. The worst thing or probably the best thing that can happen is you fail. When you fail, you learn out of it. That's right. If you didn't, you succeed. There you go. If you did succeed, again, there you go. Double thumbs up because you've learned something out of it. So we need to keep trying, experimenting. Mm -hmm. And when I say connect within and beyond is to know what is your purpose of life? I've asked this question to many a time, to many people, what does success mean to you? If I would like to ask, what does success mean to you? I think to accomplish something in life, which can make a difference in person's life. Excellent. There have been people that have said, I want to do my masters, that's my success. There have been people that have said, you know what, I should be able to uh, get on to stage and perform. So for me, making difference to people in the community, so is yours. So success means different to different people. Mm -hmm. That is when you need to go and find out what success means to me and start working towards, you know, towards it. That's when 
that's going to happen only when you connect with it. With it. That's right? Correct. So as I said, it's about the conversation. It's a simple conversation. When people come to me, they either, uh, they're concerned about something. It yeah. could be a problem, an issue, an impediment, anything or everything. It could be anything. So normally what I do is I just engage with them on a conversation mm -hmm. and then I ask some sensible questions like, okay, what is that? Try to find the root where, w what is that that's bothering you? And listen to them. And listen that's, to them. That's what most important Absolutely. thing it is. As I said earlier, half of the time people just know the answer for their yeah. own problem. But they need someone to interact mm -hmm. and ask questions because mm -hmm. it's too weak. Okay, if you think so, why? What has made you to think that? Why are you thinking, uh, you know, this is a problem? All these experiences that I had built that confidence in me, and now, today, I've reached a point that I'm confident enough to say this connect within and beyond will surely create a platform for people to come and talk and get their, I wouldn't say problem resolved, really, to get the answer for their own question. Questions by mm. themselves. It's just that either they've lost the capacity or a trigger point to question my, themselves. Or, or they're just lost. You know, yeah, it's yeah. just that dimension is just lost. They mm. want someone to prop that and actually it, it doesn't take any speciality in this. Mm -hmm. However said and done, the speciality or the most required aspect is being non-judgmental and listening to people. So Prakriti, um, when I so said everyone that I'm interviewing Prakriti Mysore Guru Raj from uh, Connect Within and Beyond, uh, there were so many questions that uh, came through to me and it was all from the Indian community. They felt that it is very comfortable to talk to somebody from, the, from our own culture somebody from our own country because that person will understand us more because of the tradition culture. What has that got uh, uh, anything you can say about that? It's a very beautiful question, Rina. I really appreciate you asking that. So when I was, when you asked me previously in terms of um, the resources being available or what, I always say the reason I want people to connect within themselves and to talk for them, irrespective of what culture they come from, is each person have their own personality, right? And the culture that they're attached to, their background, their brought up, the situation, the circumstances. It's good to go read something, get inspired by someone's life story, but it's never one size fits all. Each of them had their own, uh, you can call the amalgamation of uh, the situation. There are a lot of permutation and combination for a person to reach there. So as you rightly said, obviously I think the Indian community people would feel much more comfortable because we all are in the land of migrants. Yes. We all have migrated. We can commonly share a problem. We've come from some other country. I'm getting to adopt myself. Um, and they know I'm feeling lost. What would I do? Yes. And then the beauty of uh, this whole uh, sequence of my life has been to share my own story. That's right. And majority of the people who asked me questions were our international students because they are lost and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Prakruti Mysore Guru Raj. Prakruti, can you please give us uh, uh, confident words for our young viewers who want to know your secret for your energy and enthusiasm as we end Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Because it was just a um, couple of weeks back, I um, had an opportunity to be a key speaker in Griffith University's um, Multicultural Night for International Students. And there was one particular thing I told them and I did get a good response is never say no for an opportunity. When we say opportunity and for an international students being here is being part of the community, volunteer. There are 101 um, organizations looking for people to come forward and help them. Only when you connect with the people and the community you get to know what it's all about being there. Fantastic. Be generous enough to selflessly volunteer. And when any opportunity comes, don't think how you're going to do it. Just say yes. And 
you, you as I was saying earlier, either you're going to fail, which you're going to learn, or you'll be successful, which is again a good thing, and you start sharing your experience with 10 other people. So it's a, like a ripple effect. Awesome. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you in the show. You're watching Community Impact, and my guest is Prakruti Mysore Guru Raj. Thank you so much, Prakruti, for coming to our show. Thank you so much, Reena. It was my privilege to be here. And I would, at the end, like to say that please do connect within, which will help you to connect beyond. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back next week.